I am with Nick Ford today and we're going to start off with Nick telling us a little bit about himself, where he's from, when he graduated from VCSU, his major, and any college activities. Alright, so uh, my name is Nick Four. I am originally from Valley City, North Dakota. I graduated in uh, 2012 from VCSU. My major was Chemistry, Biology, and Health Science. Um, I was involved with a lot of different activities on campus. To list a few, I was a student senator. I was involved with uh, the pre-professional club. I was involved with the Spanish club. I was a member of the Medicine Wheel Park volunteer crew. I was a teaching assistant in the chemistry department. I think that's it. Okay. Nick, what were your majors and minors? I majored in biology, chemistry, and health science here at BCSU. Okay. And your intent the whole time was to pursue dentistry? That's right, yeah. Okay. So, um, what, what did you need to do to get into dental school? What did it take? So, dental school has, different schools have different requirements as far as what classes you have to take. And um, the basic theme with all of those classes is take the hardest classes you can and do as well in them as you can. Because they look at um, not only GPA, but they also look at what classes you took. So like if you took the bare minimum and did really well, or you took some harder classes and really challenged yourself and didn't do as well, they factor that in. A lot of schools like to see that you really challenge yourself because dental school is, it's a lot of didactic work the first two years and it's a it's a big grind, it can be a big grind, so they want to see that you have the um, have the stamina academically to get through it. Um, also, what you needed to do is they look for a lot of extracurriculars. They want to make sure that you're not just a bookworm that sits in the library all the time. They want to know that you have something that you care about and that you really mean something to you. And so um, I tried to get involved as early as I could and find things that I actually enjoyed doing and um, just try to get as much volunteer time as I could and build a relationship with the uh, the mentor of that organization because I knew come my third year or second year I would need to get uh, start getting letters of recommendation for dental school so I wanted to make sure I had as good of a, a rapport with the uh, advisors as I could. Okay. Now I know in addition to a very heavy academic course load and being involved. You also, while you were in undergraduate school, held a job off campus. I did, yeah. Okay. I worked at a, a local grocery store where I um, put in probably right around 30 hours a week just doing various things and um, that, that also helped me because I like to see job experience and so I had, I had my different activities with school and my classes, and then I had my extracurriculars, and I had a job. So it kind of shows that you are a, a well-balanced person, which is something that in talking with different academic, uh, different uh, admissions counselors that they really like to see in okay. a student. All right. Do you remember how many dental schools and which ones you applied to? I applied to six schools. I applied to... Um, University of Washington in Seattle, Washington. I applied to Oregon Health and Science University in Portland, Oregon. I applied to the University of Minnesota in Minneapolis. I applied to University of Nebraska in Lincoln, Nebraska. I applied to Creighton University in Omaha, Nebraska. And I applied to Marquette University in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Okay. And was Oregon your first interview? Oregon was my first interview. Okay. And I, I got Interview, I also interviewed at the University of Minnesota, and I was invited to interview at the um, University of Washington, but by then I'd been accepted to Oregon and Minnesota, so I declined that interview. Okay, so you are now in your third year? Yeah, I'm halfway through my third year right now. Halfway through, so the end's in sight. You can finally, you can finally see it. So, um, do you want to make any comments about how well academically you felt? Were you prepared for dental school or was there something you should have done differently to be better prepared? 
Um, so in talking with a lot of my classmates out there, I think the one thing I wish I would have done was taken a histology course. I don't think it's offered here, but I know it's offered through the University of North Dakota. And that's just something I didn't want to do because I kind of got lazy my, my last year of school. <laughs> and um, that's one thing I know that a lot of the schools in Oregon don't offer either. And that's one thing that a lot of the students that I've talked to, we all wish we would have had a little bit better background in that. Okay, okay. Um, so what has it taken for you to be successful in dental school? The first two years of dental school, um, this is what my, my roommate told me first year, it was like dental, dental or it's like undergrad times two. So really just going back and taking all of, all of the, the workload and really trying to get as many classes as I could and getting a high, high credit level each term to try and just keep you prepared and just keep you on top of things and keep you having to be organized and focused and dedicate certain amount of times a certain amount of subjects. I think it's the best way to do it. And also just kind of realizing that in undergrad you have to get really good grades to get into dental school. But once you're in dental school, as long as you're you're passing, I mean unless you want to specialize, then you really don't have to I mean you still want to do well but you don't have to necessarily get an A in every class to be successful. Okay. Okay. So that would be a huge difference. Yeah. Okay, um, but I'm sure the amount of time that you spend those first two years on the book, studying, reading, was extreme. Yeah, it, it was a lot, a lot, a lot of hours that were put in. But the nice thing is, in my class, there's, there's 75 of us. You had you and 74 other people going through the exact same thing. So okay. you, you find groups of people that you can study with and that some people are better learning aloud and some people are better listening than learning and so you just kind of find what you are and then you find the opposite of that and then you're both you're both uh, doing each other a favor and you're kind of piggybacking off each other to survive or okay. get through. Um, in visiting, um, you haven't made any plans for after graduation yet, but the next yet. year will be focused a little bit on that? Yeah. Um, yeah, the next year I'll have to I'll have to figure out where I'm going, what I'm doing. Okay, but, but you you know you're on the right career path. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't regret my choice for a second. Good. It's been a, it's been a lot of work and some very very trying days, but at the end of the day, dentistry is a great profession. I'm glad I'm in it. Great. Any um, words of advice for any Valley City State University student who's thinking? dental school or maybe any of the other professional health science fields? I would say to try and uh, shadow. Get some shadowing experience very early on because that'll, that'll be able to tell you kind of, I mean, what exactly dentistry is or what exactly medical school or being a pharmacist or whatever you ch decide to choose is actually like on a day-to-day -day basis because it's easy to kind of get a generalization from going to the dental office and having a cleaning done or something, but there's a lot a lot more to it. And so trying to find exactly if it's something that you're going to be interested in and what exactly is involved early so you can make an informed decision and get started on the right classes and the right activities and everything early.